Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Thursday, December 31st, 2015, and I am Leanne McAdoo. Well, we have had quite an epic year here in 2015. We had an exclusive interview with Matt Drudge. He gave us a surprise drop-in visit here at the studio. And we also had a pretty epic interview with Donald Trump. But, of course, the establishment media was not happy about that. So we're going to go ahead and play some of the highlights of 2015 for you tonight. Uh, we've got an interview with Tucker Carlson, as well as with Mike Norris coming in to talk about his uh, new movie. Um, we're going to re-air some highlights from our interview with Donald Trump. But first, here is Alex Jones storming Google headquarters here in Austin, Texas. Boy, the Texas tornado. He just loved to make his presence known. So let's go ahead and roll that clip. So I get wound up because I, it's fight and flight, and there's nowhere to run. So I'm like a raccoon in the garage that somebody's about to kill, man. I don't have a choice. I'm a fight. I'm a fight. I'm a fight. Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water. Pairing the unprecedented super filtration power of an all-new gravity block core with a hybrid chromatic shell, it removes up to 99.999% of impurities, including bacteria, viruses, fluoride, disinfectants, volatile organic contaminants and hormones filter capacity up to 5,000 gallons stainless steel construction easy assembly low maintenance replacement filters are simple to install and now as part of an exclusive limited time introductory offer you can save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping this is a limited time offer so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off go to infowarsstore.com or call 888-253-3139 the way some people see it, Big Brother is watching, and his name is Google. Google's wearable computer is also facing stiff resistance, mostly over privacy concerns. Eric Schmidt is Google's CEO. If you have something that you don't want anyone to know, maybe you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. In the not-too-distant future, you'll likely see some of these cruising past you. There's what I call the creepy line. I would argue that implanting things in your brain is, a, is beyond the creepy line. Mine in particular. Uh, yes, yes. Um, at least for the moment, uh, until the technology gets better. Now, a lot of times, people ask me why I do confrontational things. I don't do as much as I used to. It's because the globalists are confronting us. They're getting in our face. They're doing things to us. And they're taking our data. And it's time we just give them a little bit of the aggressiveness they give us to illustrate how what they do is hidden hand. What they do is digital. The real power in this world is still, and will get even more powerful in the future, physical. As less people get physical, as less people deal in third dimension and use their mind for fourth and fifth dimension thinking, what we're doing right now is where it's all at. Let's go in. Hello, ma'am. Alex Jones, how are you doing? I'm Walter. How are you? Good, good. This looks like an exciting event tonight. How are you doing? Alex Jones, Infowars.com, and here visiting our buddies at Google. What are you guys about to do here tonight? Actually, we don't uh, allow recording in here. Well, but Google told me in an update that it uses the camera and microphone to listen to me in my house. Just one second. I mean, you don't allow recording in here, but you got our camera right there on the computer that Google says it uses to watch people. I'm a little confused by that. I mean, we got everybody getting roped in here, and then we're just here with a camera. I mean, Google's got its cameras on all our computers. We use Google watching us. I mean, just explain that to me. How can he say we shouldn't have a camera in here when Google is all about selling our data? And, 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 and interviews, I'm sorry. You yeah. just listen to us inside our houses without asking and try to take our cars over? Is that all? You lobby government to take our cars away? Anyway, so we're just here with a camera. Google has phones you know, dialing in, watching us, listening to us. I mean, I'm really trying to figure this out. Let's go look at some of the food over here. Here we go. Absolutely. Oh we, oh, we can't videotape in here? Don't worry, we're already streaming it live. You won't stop our transmission. Anyways, we're here inside Google. Invitation only. Google doesn't tell you it's invitation only when they hack into your house and watch and track everything you're doing. 
Look, we got lots of. This is a private event. Google does not. Oh, whoa, whoa. Please don't touch our equipment. I'm not going to touch your Google. Whoa, ma'am, don't touch me, please. This is a private event, sir. Ma'am, I don't want to. Well, I need you to not touch me. Well, I need you to leave, sir. Okay, but is it a private event? Is Google watching and listening inside here? I do not work for Google. Well, good, well you shouldn't be touching me. That's assault. Well, you shouldn't be in well I was a, actually, well, I need a police officer to tell me that, so you need to go ahead and have them call. Oh, no problem. Good. Yeah, do that. Go ahead. So, again, Google trespasses on us, tracks and listens to everything we do. We come here, and what did I say the response would be? We're polite. We're nice. And this is how Google ropes in all the local community and gives them a little free cheese and stuff, like you do a mouse before it gets in the trap and slams the door shut. But just like we've had all the NSA whistleblowers on, we're gonna continue to expose the public front of the NSA. Come on, let's go back outside now. One of our latest additions to InfoWars, he's gonna introduce himself now, just pointed out some key humet or human intelligence when he was inside. So we're gonna go back in and show everybody. Michael Zimmerman, uh, when we were inside just now, I noticed a sign on the window that says when you're in this building, everything uh, that goes on here is going to be recorded for this, this event. So you're on camera no matter where you are in the Google building, and uh, they'll, they'll capture you on camera there. But they're mad at us. Come show right. us the sign. Exactly. Come show us the sign. Here we go, round two. They're going to get really upset now. And just, uh, Mr. Zimmerman, please point this out to us. Ma'am, we are back. We appreciate you real quick. I, I was here to see the sign. This says that everybody's being filmed in here by Google, just like they film you inside your house. So what would the issue be with us in here filming? Nothing against your event, ma'am. I'm sorry the Google spider has caught you. But notice to the public, film and videotape is presently being shot in this location. All areas in this event are likely to be filmed for the least part of the event's duration. Now, that's, that's from Google, ladies and gentlemen. So, so that's what goes on. Thank you, Google Fiber. See it on InfoWars.com and on the Google platform YouTube because we use the enemy's platforms against them. Thank you. You know, Alex, we've come a long way with our understanding of Google, with our understanding of the tracking technology. I mean, years ago, you talked to someone on the street, they didn't, they didn't have no idea they were being tracked in their Google searches to the extent they know now in their apps that they're accepting to give away all of their information to essentially the Borg system when they download iPhone apps or Android apps. I want to ask you where you see all this going with the future of AI cars, driverless cars, because I don't know about you, personally, I'm not against the advancements of technology, which absolutely we're not, and I'm not against the idea, even someday, of AI-based cars. My problem is the control system of the AI cars, the control system of forcing you into it, the control system of saying that you are a human slug without any ability to do anything for yourself, and these driverless AI systems and cars all around, even in the house now, smart houses, these are for your safety because you're so stupid you can't do anything for yourself. Well, that's it, Anthony. We didn't ask for this. It was Trojan horse, not just with Google, but into all the cars, uh, the other PC systems, the Apple systems, you name it. They get together in these big, giant corporate board meetings with governmental leaders. This stuff's been declassified over the last 50 years. This has been happening with DARPA and other agencies, and they decide the future. We've built this artificiality that has so many uh, positive angles to it, but overall, the screen time, the television watching, lowering our IQ, uh, causing brain damage, this is not debatable. And so while they were building the Trojan horse, while they were putting their grid in place, which is now basically in place for this AI takeover, and that's in Google's own words, founded uh, 16 years ago, they met and said, listen, we're not just building a search engine. We're not just working with DARPA and NQTEL and the CIA. This is like in Wired Magazine now. And I was told this by NSA insiders like 14 years ago. Now it's in the news. Oh, we set out to build an artificially intelligent system that interfaces with billions of humans in live time and that basically humans are now nodes or eyeballs or, or robot droids or drones of Google. And Google is allowed to get past laws. Other people can't. Google has this government relationship with NASA, you name it, nobody else has, because it is really a governmental institution. And I don't want to single Google out. Google compared to like Apple, which is even bigger, uh, and some of these other globalist corporations is actually our nice guys compared. And, and, and I don't just say that because, you know, I don't want to mess with Google. That's just the truth that they understand, keep the web free, keep it somewhat open while they grow to get their data to be able to become a sentient AI system. And many scientists believe, 
and we'll put the articles up here on screen, that Google has already actually become sentient and has transcended IBM and its Deep Blue and its other systems. Take your destiny in your hands and don't let these people control your future and dominate who you are. Discover what's really happening and realize that everything you do, the energy you expend, is being sucked off by these people to build their, their castle in the clouds, to build their world, and you're not supposed to have any part of that. That's a load of crap. We're going to expose what's happening and we're going to, by our actions, change what these groups are doing. We're going to reach out to the executives of these companies. We're going to reach out to their children, their wives, their husbands. We're going to lay out an alternative to this program that's based on free will. And I assure you, if you take action and get involved in that discussion and creating that reality, these systems will fall. They're scared of you. And they know once humanity's unchained, they're not going to be able to have their control of the future and play God. And that's what they're scared of. But this fight's been played out in this universe many times, believe that. And 999 times out of 1,000, they fail. And that's why they're so scared. They've gotten better at what they do, but in the end, they will fall. Is, is the street OK? We're welcome inside? Yeah, it's a public event. Well, well thank you. You're sweet. But let me talk to you for a sure, second, sure, sure. which is I'm not sure everyone here would like to be on camera per se. It's a public event, so you can come in. You work Check with Google, ma'am? You're very nice. I do, I do. When yeah. are they coming out with robots to replace you is what I want to know, because you're too nice. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a, we happen to be hosting the city and the county here for an event. I'd, I'd actually appreciate not being on camera. Oh, well, you're being sweet. We just wanted to show that Google watches us and listens to us on the internet, and we just came and just figured people freak out if we had a camera, which they kind of did. And there's a sign saying, though, that Google videotapes you inside, so we just, we're just all cameras, I mean, that's all we're showing. Oh, yeah, well, you're sweet. Hey, officers, be safe tonight. Well, God bless you, brother. Thank you. Well, thanks for putting up with me. Thank you. Appreciate it. A couple, couple of listeners. All right, anyways. Listen, we care about humans. We are the resistance. Just remember, when the robots take all your family's jobs in a few years, we're here. We're here for the people. We're here for the humans. All right, we're standing up as hard as we can. Later, it's going to get bad. You'll, you'll break the conditioning then. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And folks, if you want to stand up against the artificial intelligence that is Google, the NSA, and the corporate globalist, the now is the time. Their mothership, or their main takeover uh, carcinogen metastasization system is at the corner of Colorado and 2nd Street in Austin, Texas. And again, nothing against those poor people inside. They have no idea what we're even talking about. Uh, we're not mad at them putting their hands on us. We're not mad at them trying to you know, protect their their cyborg takeover system. We understand they're dumbed down. That's who we're reaching out to. Uh, that's who we're trying to stand up for. But again, we're gonna be showing during this report, Google's admissions, Samsung's admissions, we're watching or listening in your house. And I'm gonna do another stunt next week, as I promised. We're gonna go to people's houses, mainly Democrats and, and some of the folks we know that are involved in bringing immigrants in and making money off of it. I'm gonna bang on the door and I'm gonna say, listen, I'm a migrant. I wanna move in your house and live in your living room. You're gonna put me dinner. And that's what's happening in Germany, and it'll be the same deal. And I plan some other stuff for Google that's legal and lawful. I told you, what do you think is going to happen when I do that? It'll be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> because, because this is only the beginning. The general public thinks groveling to tyranny gets them ahead. We've had a lot of fans come by, but we had just had some guy walk by and go, mm, thinking he's powerful. Because they're so cowardly, they just think grovel to the system, they're going to get ahead. Uh, Anthony Gucciardi, uh, anything else you'd like to add? Well, it's just like when I went to the NSA, I guess it was about two years ago. We, we got to show today. some clips of that. So, here, Josh. We've been here. Three. Hey, we're just trying to find out. We just want to ask a few questions of your commanding officer. All right, we're getting screamed at by the NSA agent. He's getting his car screaming at us, telling us to turn those cameras off right now. And he is very upset. He is very mad. Hey, we're saying we're on live feed, First Amendment. We're saying First Amendment. We just want to ask some questions. He's going up to Josh. He's about to take. He's take. He's about to take the camera from Josh. Oh, there's some more. Hey guys, we're just journalists here. We're just journalists. We're just trying. We're live streaming right now to, on Alex Jones show. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, hey. He cut the live feed. Alex, he just turned. Took the. He just cut the live feed. He just. He's. We went up there, me and Josh, and we rolled up, and I asked them for their ID, and I guess the uh, military police at the Utah NSA headquarters didn't like that too much. And I said, well, you, you, 